Hey y'all, welcome back to another video here with me, Rich on Rich Aesthetic. And iOS 18 brought a whole host of new features, a lot of them Apple intelligence related. However, within those features, there are many colorful upgrades to the operating system. So this video is all about the colorful <laughs> features of iOS 18. On the lock screen, as you can see, we have colorful clock options. One new one. It's the rainbow gradient, which is looking sweet in my opinion. Now, we don't have a way to customize the colors of the gradient. Here are the other color options as usual, and here's the gradient. I was hoping for a color picker of separate values of the gradient, but it is not possible. So maybe down the line. But for now, it's a nice choice to have. All right, now in the notes app, here are a bunch of different formatted sections. We have a title, subtitle, and a subheading here. And by tapping on the pen tool, you can see we now have highlight options, which does two things. One, it changes the text color, as well as it gives it a little bit of like a two-tone color for the background. So there's the title highlighted, and here's a single word in the body highlighted. If you tap on the color, you get to choose the color, and it also automatically highlights the text. If you tap on the pen tool, it'll just highlight the text. Here's what it looks like in a quote. No, exactly the same. And if we change that to mono style and get rid of the quote, it also looks the same. The gray does not really change the appearance of the highlighted word. Now, here's a table. And in the table, we actually do not have formatting options. So I think we can like bold it, maybe underline it. But besides that, no colors, no highlighting, and no outline styles, such as title, heading, and so on. Now in messages, oh my gosh, we finally have colorful tap backs. You can see by my expression there, we have colorful tap backs, and I think they look great. You can also add emojis. The difference between adding an emoji as a tap back instead of a sticker, I believe if two people use the same emoji, when you look at the tap back preview, it'll tell you what everyone's tap back was. A sticker does not have that kind of view. Now here in the message composer, these are not colorful features, but we have text effects. And you can add text effects by adding it to the entire sentence or message. You can also add a text effect to a singular word. And the cool thing is you can add two different text effects or the same text effect to two different words in the same line or sentence or message. Very cool, fun little feature. Next up, even the control center has color. You can see that the now playing action or widget, whatever you want to call it, takes the album artwork to create a little bit of a subtle background color. And finally, if you haven't heard, we have a lot more customization options on the home screen. And we have obviously the dark mode and the light mode icons, and that's fine. But the real customization comes with tinted, which a lot of people are being kind of facetious about and making fun of how ugly the home screen can look. Remember, these are customization choices. You have two sliders, the black and white level value, and then the other one for the color value. So you pick kind of the hue you want, and then you'll pick how light or dark you want that hue to be. You can also use the color picker and then it'll hide everything on your home screen and then you can choose a color from your home screen to give it a bit more of a, you know, maybe a two-tone type of look. I'm not a big fan of the tint feature, um, but also you have to keep in mind that there's not a lot of support for the iOS 18 features, if any, in the apps right now. They have to provide different layers of their app icon and then the tint feature might actually end up looking a lot better. So. I'm seeing a lot of cool app icons from the likes of Halide, as well as Dark Noise, making some cool dark mode icons, as well as tint options. Mm -hmm. 
And here's another icon I found from Crouton, who's actually an Apple Design Award winner. I really like the effect he's got there with his app icon and the tent options. So now we get into Siri and Apple Intelligence. So first off, Siri has a brand new all screen animation and I think it looks gorgeous. In the type to Siri setting, one, notice how type to Siri appears. Double tap on the home bar. And then secondly, look at the background of the keyboard. It's also got that colorful Siri-esque animation. Priority notifications, again, you will see they have this animation here with all the colors. Then of course we have Genmoji and pay attention to the keyboard yet again. It's got that colorful background and then the image generation loader has that colorful orb like look. Now when we look at image playgrounds and the actual image generation, it has that same orb like color around the generated images. The keyboard for whatever reason doesn't have the color. All right, thanks for watching. Those are all the things that I found. Let me know if you already knew about these all or not down below in the comments. And while you're down there, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this. I'm excited to jump deeper into the Notes app later this year, as well as the Calculator app and all the other cool stuff. And I mean, like when Apple Intelligence comes out, I mean, I don't know, I might just be addicted to that animation alone. So stick around until the next one.